Okay, so here's a quick video on how to mix chemicals for the Color C41 uh, process using the Teflon uh, kit. It's a really simple process, so I'll do a short and simple video. The kit comes like this in little nice uh, plastic containers. Do the developer first. So, color developer part one. You need 100 milliliters of that. That's here. That's part two. That's 200 milliliters. It's both 200. Okay, 200 milliliters of that. And, oh, there's a third part. Color developer part three. Here we go, all three of them. And to make one liter, uh, you add 400 milliliters of water. And just the full bottle of each of these. 400 milliliters of water. I'm using distilled water. just because the water here is so full of calcium. So it's about 400. So it's uh, mixing temperature between 20 and 45. I think this water is 18, but uh, since these are all liquids and this is a little bit above 20, I think we'll be fine. So, I'm wearing goggles and, here's the goggles, and I'm wearing little um, safety glasses, since these are toxic chemicals, part one. If you're really cheap, you can wash the bottle with the solution, but I think we're good. This is the quick and dirty video. Maybe I'll show the, the nice version later. Part 2, color developer. Actually, I do have an official steering rod, so I'll just get that. Behold the steering rod. Alright, last part, CD part 3. And it's just more than one liter. I think that'll, that'll be fine. And I have this clearly marked, first developer. And I'm trying to pour it without getting too much air into the mix. So I compressed the bottle so much that it can barely hold one liter. Ooh.
Okay, it's not gonna oxidize anyway. Uh huh. There's always little surprises. Always little surprises. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. So I made a little bit more than one liter. Okay, so that's ready. So that goes in the Yobo to heat up. And we'll do the bleach. I'll just wash these little things. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And uh, this, I wash it with normal water and then I wash it with distilled water because there's so much uh, uh, calcium in the water here. So let's do bleach fix, one liter. So 600 milliliters of water. Let's see if I can hit that a little better. It's the green mark. BX part one. This is really interesting stuff. Let's just say that it's fairly colorful. So let's see how it goes into the solution. Yeah, this is strongly colored. I think it's uh, probably. Uh, it's I don't remember the English name Kalium. It's uh, not sodium. It's hmm potassium permanganate, something like that. All right. Part two, two hundred milliliters of that. Oh, that's the stabilizer. That's not going in. C forty one. BX part two. One of the things that I really love about doing color development at home is all the colors. And uh, the BX is not le the least colorful thing. Actually, I've seen developers change color and yeah, it's it's fun. Here's a clearly marked container for the bleach fix. And I'll pour that in. Actually, getting a little bit of oxygen into this is not bad. So uh, some people even shake this just to keep it full of air. And um, yeah, this fit the bottle. I put a little bit too much water on the other solution, but um, let's see how the picture turns out. I think I'll be fine. So this goes in the jobo. So here's the stabilizer. So I'm just gonna put this in. This is what goes to the recycling facility. My God, what was that? There was a lump of something that came out of the bottle. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Maybe fungus. 
So I'm just gonna wash this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I don't know if something something was alive in there. Actually pretty interesting. So I'll do 800 of, oh, I didn't wash these. Be right back. Okay, so this is now a clean container. Something was alive in there, maybe fungus, I don't know. Um, the general idea is that I mix the chemicals in the sequence that uh, that I'll be using them in. So I'll do de developer first, then I'll do the Blix, and last thing is the stabilizer, which is actually a pretty important part of the process. Um, so the idea is that a little bit of developer in the step in the bleach won't do much harm, a little bit of uh, bleach in the um, stabilizer won't do a lot of harm, but don't get bleach in your developer, don't get stabilizer in your developer, that's the, that's the basic idea. Okay. Nice, new, fresh of C41 color chemicals, I totally recommend doing color negative at home. It's a lot of fun, you get beautiful pictures, or I find them nice anyway, and it's not so hard. The main thing is getting the temperature right, um, and I use a Jobo machine uh, because I'm lazy, uh, and I get a little bit stressed about watching a thermometer all the time when I'm doing darkroom work, so I was lucky enough to get a, a used uh, uh, Jobo off eBay, but um, yeah, it could probably work in just a sink with a with a nice thermometer. So um, yeah, it's fun and easy. And I think this little kit from from Tedno, the C41 Colortech kit, is a really fun and easy way to to do it. And as you can see, it's easy to mix and prepare. Bye bye.